And we're speaking uh, with Bobby Sunante, Democrat candidate for Clerk of the Martin Circuit Court. Our first question, kind of get to know you for the folks that may not know who you are, but uh, give us a little bit of background on your family and uh, who the uh, Nante family is. Okay. My name is Bobby Sunante, and I married Brent Nante of Crane, Indiana. Uh, we live in Lagodi with our five children, Brooke, who is 17, Willa, who is 16, Jacob, who is 12, Luke, who's 7, and Abby, who is 5. So we're in Lagodi quite often and around in the community, so I'd say someone has seen us somewhere at some sort of function. Or um, So I hope that uh, Brent and I stay married for a long time. We've been married 19 years, and we've lived in Lagodi all those years, and uh, we both have lived here our whole entire life. We might talk a little bit about, uh, you know, brothers and sisters. That kind of extends the family out even that much farther, but uh, uh, a lot of folks that uh, you're related to in one uh, sense or the other. Uh, yes, I'm related to just about everybody. In fact, it's a, it's a joke at, at Crane, you know, that we're just about related to everybody in every county surrounding. So uh, we love family. Uh, we come from huge families. My husband's family, his mother and father had eight and nine brothers and sisters, and my mom and dad had eight and nine brothers and sisters. I have four um, siblings. My husband has six, one, one uh, deceased. Uh, we live everywhere uh, as far as his family does. So uh, my sisters are teachers in the Goody Community School Corporation, his family. For the majority of them work at Crane. I have Dr. Smith here in Lagodi. Um, so we're, we're known in the community, have always lived here, and uh, this is our home. Next question, uh, talk a little bit about your education background and you know some of the things that you've done to, to prepare you for uh, Clerk of Martin County. Well, I attended Scholes Gray School from K through 5, um, graduated from Lagodi High School, the class of 1988, uh, attended Vincent University all while co-oping for uh, the Naval Surface Warfare Center. Um, I've attended numerous trainings and certifications in the computer field. Um, while clerk of the circuit court, I also uh, went to every clerk conference and um, was uh, a member of the Indiana Clerks Association. So um, I'm very active in the community. Um, I'm uh, a member of uh, my Lagodi Martin County Catholic par parishes. Um, I'm a member of Southwestern Indiana Walk to Emmaus community. Um, so I feel like I uh, have a lot of experience, not only education-wise, but dealing with people on a community level as well. Next question, uh, speaking of Martin County specifically, um, obviously you've had a little experience in the clerk's office before. A lot of this is black and white. What does the clerk's office do well and what are some of the areas that you'd like to see improvement in if uh, you're elected? Yes, I have been, um, have had the privilege to working, of working in the clerk's office. Um, I went in in a tough situation. Uh, and I'll be honest with you, when I first went on, I knew nothing about the clerk's office or the functions or how to run a day-to-day -day, um, activities within the clerk's office. So um, I pride myself in knowing that I went in in a bad situation and I turned the clerk's office around. I um, have trained all but two of the present employees, including the current clerk um, and the two employees that are there. Um, I know them well, so um, I feel that the the people are what makes the clerk's office in its current state the most vital asset. Um, the ones that are there want to be there and they've worked hard uh, for the people of Martin County um, and I feel that that is the greatest asset that the uh, clerk's office has to offer the people of Martin County right now. Um, I'll be honest with you, if I didn't think uh, there was room for change, I wouldn't run for clerk of the circuit court. Um, I knew that once I got in uh, the office, I knew that it was something that I wanted to do. I knew it was the right career for me. I knew that um, it just was, for the first time, it was a career fit that was right. Um, I loved the type of work. I loved working uh, with the people. I loved uh, working with the court system. I liked uh, making sure that children had their child support checks. Uh, you know, there is a lot of gratification working with elections. It's a lot of hard work, but there's gratifications knowing that you're serving the people in some sort of capacity. Um, to say that there's no room for improvement, um, I don't want to say that because I wouldn't be running if I thought that there wasn't. Um, I feel that my experience and education and the computer field 
sets me above my candidate. I feel that of the two candidates on the ticket, I'm the one most qualified. Um, I feel that because of my education, but also my experience in the computer field. It's changing every day. Um, the clerk of the court is over four major computer systems. In the state of Indiana, you have the child support system who's responsible to ensure that the children get their child supports and, and uh, checks in a timely manner to make sure it's at, accurately recorded and distributed. Um, you have the um, voter election system, which, you know, is fairly new. Um, there's a lot of education and training every day um, in the voter election registration system. There's new laws that change our voter, our elections every day, and we have to stay current in those. Um, we have the Insight system, which is the Bureau of Motor Vehicles system, where we record traffic violations that everybody loves so much. So, um, but. We're responsible for keeping accurate um, traffic records. But the most important system that we're in charge of is the um, court system, um, the CCS system, the one that keeps all the uh, court's records up and accurate and, and current. There's a lot of technology in the clerk's office. There's a lot to learn. It's ever-changing. Um, in order to stay efficient and effective and timely, and proceedings of the court matters, you have to know technology. You have to be willing to adapt and to change and just to be willing to learn at all times. So I feel that that gives me an edge that my opponent doesn't have because I'm not afraid um, to use a computer. And there's, there's things that need to change. Um, you know, the people are wonderful. They're doing a good job, but there's always room for improvement. You know, a good leader realizes that there's room for improvement and she capitalizes on her resources and she, she realizes that and she makes the clerk's office a better person, place for people to come in the county. Our next question with the economy going south, this is one of the questions that we've asked every candidate. Uh, everybody obviously in business and government are looking for ways to save money, economize, stretch the almighty dollar. <laughs> how have you done this in your current uh, field and how would you do this with the clerk's office? Well, I, I say just being a mother of five and a family of seven, uh, surviving in today's economic state and providing adequately for my family, I'd say that that's a success story in its own. But as far as the clerk's office, um, every elected official is responsible for submitting a budget to the county council. Um, not the clerk. The clerk doesn't cut that budget. The council cuts that budget.